Hey guys, welcome back to another one. I'm Sophie and welcome back to Tap 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 In. Today we are here with the one, the only Jonathan Nelson. Give it up for Jonathan Nelson. Give it up for Jonathan Nelson. Say hi. Hi, how's everybody? What's up? Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us, Jonathan. Okay, so our first question for you today is how do you keep yourself fresh? Whether it's writing lyrics or traveling, how do you make sure you receive your daily bread? So fresh for me is it starts like with bathing. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, you're right, you're right, you're right. No, but um, keep myself fresh. Um, I think being connected to a local church, um, it helps me to be to remain fresh. Um, my parents are still living, and so um, anytime I need like a spiritual download, um, if I can't get it from my pastor, I'll get it from my parents. Um, I stay connected with those that are connected to God yeah. um, when I need a, a fresh boost. Um, f- daily bread, I mean, keeping it fresh as it relates to you gotta st- read your Bible, you gotta stay connected to God, you have to talk to God daily. So I, I would say that those are the things that I need to do to remain fresh. Yeah, no, I, I totally believe in that because here at Rice Camp, our theme tonight is iron sharpens iron. So yeah. I think it's really important to have that connection with the people who are connected with the Holy One. Right. Um, our second question today is what role do you think faith plays in spirituality and mental wellness? So, um, faith is the it, it is the foundation of who we are. What do we believe? Who are we? Um, our faith in Jesus Christ is the foundation. So, what do I? I believe it is probably the number one priority. How can you come to know Jesus if you don't confess who He is? You must first believe that He is yeah. in order to confess Him. So, yes, faith is the to me the foundation of who I am and who we are as Christians. Yeah. I believe that too, because you need faith in everything. Of course. Exactly, everything you do. And our last question for you today okay. is, Father's Day was not too long ago, so tell me what season of fatherhood you are in right now. Like, how is it going for you? What season of fatherhood I'm in? Yeah. Okay, now you want me to talk. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, I learned how to be a father from my father. Mm-hmm. Um, next week, my father will be 90 years old. Wow. And he is not just a father, he's a grandfather. He's a great grandfather, and I think we've—I don't know if he's a great great grandfather yet, but I know he's a great grandfather, right? Yeah. So for me, um, this season of fatherhood, it's about um, mentoring others, um, developing others. But in my personal life, I am now a grandfather. Um, my my granddaughter is a year old, and I'm rediscovering love again like I love the Lord I love my family but it's a new kind of love a different kind of love um, and people have, have been explaining this like when you become a grandparent it's just a different kind of love and I'm experiencing a different kind of love a new kind of love a new kind of protection and a new kind of responsibility so as a father in this season I'm learning to become a father again and it's also showed me um, if you will the shortcomings um, where I wasn't present or a, a great father mm-hmm. this is showing me that I can um, I don't know if I can uh, recon- uh, let me I, uh, reconfigure yeah. mm-hmm. it was some stuff that I didn't get right the first time but yeah. I feel like I can get it right this time yeah. is what I'm saying yeah I feel you yeah. that's good that's good I love that for you man you. that's great and then our last thing what do you want to tell the world right now what do you want to tell t- people watching on tap in so uh, let's see remain authentic um, Don't be swayed by people. Don't be swayed by TikTok, social media. Um, Know who you are. Know who God is. Um, And if you will, know who know the voice of God for you. No, no. Don't let life or what you see in front of you make you try to become that. So you see, if you will, people changing their bodies to accommodate. Um, being accepted don't worry about being accepted like just know who you are and know who God is for you and through you yeah thank you so much we appreciate it okay thank you guys so much for tapping in make sure to like subscribe and comment and thank you so much tap to the tap to tap tap in